one of the things I would actually really like to do is work to make New Hampshire one of the most homeschool friendly states in the country. Our homeschool laws are a little bit weird right now. They're, we're definitely more restrictive than some states, and I think we can do better about that. But I also want to do things to encourage entrepreneurship around homeschooling because, well, I think that homeschooling is more attainable than a lot of parents think it is. A lot of parents perceive it to be completely out of reach. And if we can make it easier for parents, then I think the more the more people that can get pulled out of the government schools, the better. Now, I hate I hate when you say like that you don't want people to go back to teaching. And I know that you're right. Like, I, unfortunately, mm -hmm. I like I know in my heart and seeing things the way things have become that you're right. But like for the longest time, we used to look at things like the schools are the future. The children are the future. Like the reason the do it for the children has so much power is because everyone knows that they're the future. Um, in the schools are where they're being brainwashed, where they're being taught. I, I used to tell people, you should go be a teacher. Like if you don't know what you want to do, but you're a hardcore libertarian, like go be a teacher, like stop the brainwashing from the start. Like go, go where you have a chance to impact people at their like most susceptible and teach them about freedom and liberty at the, in the classroom. But like, I've had some friends that have gone and done that. I, I had a friend here in Manchester, New Hampshire, who went and did that. She was a libertarian and Manchester school district was so desperate for teachers. They were waiving all of the requirements mm -hmm. uh, about needing like education and teaching and a master's degree and everything and hiring anybody, as long as you could pass some basic standards to teach. And she went to teach one. at Manchester high school. And uh, after about, two years she couldn't take it anymore and she's no longer a teacher yeah i mean i understand the strategy behind it but again like from being an organizational psychologist i'm very good at assessing kind of like social systems and figuring out what i need to do to fix those systems from a people level the, the public schools are not fixable they're just not fixable and i think that if we keep lying to ourselves about it and keep trying these things like if we can just create more libertarian teachers everything will be fixed well no because to be really honest like the state shouldn't be indoctrinating anyone with any ideology i mean the the only answer to this is just getting rid of the government schools entirely I do think an interim thing that we can do is we should all be supporting school choice as much as we can. I mean, school choice is going to be imperative to this. But I also would argue that we should also be trying to put what I would like to do if I was elected governor of New Hampshire, my very first act on day one would be to sign an executive order putting cameras in every public school classroom in the state within six months. And if they don't put the cameras in the classrooms within six months, they lose their taxpayer funding entirely. And I want the live streams from those cameras to be available to every single student in those classes or not excuse me every the parents of every single student in those classes not public but to, to parents and the idea is that you know we saw that parents when they saw what their kids were being taught over the pandemic when they actually saw the coursework they activated, they mobilized. And so if we can give parents direct access to that information on an ongoing basis, I not only think that it would help make parents more informed about what's actually going on in schools, I also think it would actually tone down the amount of indoctrination teachers are doing because they know they're being watched. While ultimately the goal should be to defund the schools entirely, at least throwing sand in their gears and getting them to slow down would also be really helpful.